Have you heard about the green comet that's all over the news? Comet C2022E3ZTF is currently visible in the night sky and I plan to take a picture of it to share with you all. I'll set up my camera and telescope to photograph it up close in detail while it's still here. You see, this comet only comes around once every 50,000 years or so. So if I miss it, well, that's that. So please join me for another night of astrophotography here in the backyard as we go after the elusive green comet from the far reaches of our solar system. A comet is a small celestial object made up of ice, dust, and rocky particles. When comets get close to the sun, they often release gases and dust that form a bright, visible tail. One of the best ways to describe a comet, a lot of people like to call it a dirty snowball. The tail of these comets is always pointing away from the sun due to solar wind. Comets are really old. They're believed to have formed at the early stages of our solar system. And because of this, they're thought to contain some of the oldest materials found in the solar system. The comets themselves aren't super rare, so why is this one so special and get all that news coverage? This particular comet has such a huge orbit, it takes 50,000 years to make an entire orbit around the sun. The last time this comet was visible from Earth was the Stone Age and they had the benefit of zero light pollution. This one has also been nicknamed the Green Comet by the media, which is funny because I'm pretty sure almost all comets are green. The nucleus of this comet does indeed glow green, and through astrophotography, you can even reveal that beautiful tail. That's my ultimate goal tonight, to capture that green comet with the tail included. That's gonna be tough. Like the bewildered cavemen seeing this comet 50,000 years ago, you too can see it in the night sky if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, of course. Sorry guys. It's in an easy to find area of the night sky, right near the North Star, Polaris. You can use your favorite astronomy app on your smartphone to guide you. Something like Stellarium will guide you in the right direction. Now you'll need to use a pair of binoculars or a small telescope to see this comet. Unfortunately, it's just not bright enough to see visibly with the naked eye. Ideally, you would view it without the bright glow of the moon interfering, but that is precisely what I'll be doing tonight. I don't get many chances to see the night sky in the winter, so I have to take what I can get. To capture the green comet, I'll use a small refractor telescope this one that has a focal length of 550 millimeters. This will bring it in nice and close, but not too tight where I run the risk of cropping off any of that tail. If the tail's even still there or what it looks like now. That's the most exciting and potentially frustrating thing about photographing comets. They're evolving and unpredictable. I haven't taken a picture of a comet since Neowise in 2020, so this is a real treat for me. I'll use a color camera to capture the green comet in full color and an imaging software that allows me to point in the exact location of where it should be. I should be able to see the comet right away in a short test exposure, and then it's a matter of choosing the ideal exposure time to take a series of images where I can reveal plenty of light on the subject without having too much motion. See, the comet is moving in a different speed and angle than the traditional motion of the stars in the night sky, so my traditional tracking methods won't work. I've seen others use auto-guiding on the comet itself as if it were a star with positive results. Instead, I think I'll just track the night sky like normal, but limit my exposure time to 120 seconds to avoid a blurry comet. I mean, it's kind of a blurry fuzzball anyway. How bad could it be? Wish me luck. To run an imaging sequence on this comet, I'm using the ZWO ASI Air to control the session. This is a really powerful tool capable of running a dedicated astronomy camera, auto guiding, and even an autofocuser for those that want it all. I recently switched over to a big tablet instead of my phone to use the app, and man, what a treat it is to see huge preview images of the comet as they come through. The camera is an ASI 2400MC Pro, which utilizes the native focal length of the telescope 
capturing a nice big chunk of sky in a single shot. In terms of astrophotography specific tips, here's a few things to keep in mind. You can either track the comet itself where the stars will be trailed, or track the stars and then the comet will be trailed. It's one or the other. Like I said, unlike a traditional deep sky object, they are moving independently from one another. For the ultimate portrait of this dirty snowball, you definitely want to track the comet itself. This will allow you to capture a clear, long exposure shot. Photographing comets is still new to me, so I'm not confident in my abilities to track comets. So I'm just tracking the stars and then I'll take shorter exposures and stack those images. Speaking of stacking, the image process side of things is a bit different. Deep Sky Stacker and Pixinsight both have comet stacking modes and I'll probably try them both out to see which one delivers the best result. Many people like to create an animated time lapse of the comet moving through a field of stars, which is a really cool effect because it really gives you the idea of how fast this thing is traveling through space. If you're like me, just the whole idea of the event is fun. I don't need to take the best picture out there. Unlike some of the other celestial events that get the media's attention, I think comets are a big deal. I mean, they're visitors from the far reaches of our solar system and they're only here for a short time. The fact that they're kind of doing their own thing makes it cool. The kind of cool that makes you wake your wife up early in the morning to come outside and take a look. Whether it's every 76 years or every 50,000 years they visit, it's a reminder of how comparatively short our lives are here on our rock and how incredible this entire existence is. So go outside and look for the green comet yourself because nothing lasts forever. Slippers on. Okay, see where my scope is pointed? Don't stand in front of it. Okay, look. Get the binoculars out and look up. See it? 